Hola amigos, bien o no, y saludos desde Medellín, otro día maravilloso aquí, ¿no? Tremendo. Entonces, el tema de hoy, cuando estás, cuando estás practicando, tu leyendo y tu pronunciación, ser honesto, escucha bien cuáles son los sonidos que tú tienes más problema o más problemático, cuáles son los parables o los sonidos que para usted son muy difíciles. Ese es el tema de hoy. So, hello from Medellín, another splendid afternoon today. Look at that, aren't there a cloud in the sky? Um, so, theme for today, this is coming out of some practice I've done um, early on this morning. It's to, when you're doing your dialogue practice, you're reading, you're speaking out loud, be honest, be self-critical, think carefully about what are those sounds that you have trouble with, and then go back and focus on those. Because there are some sounds that are difficult um, for speakers of one language in another one, and this varies from language to language. Um, there are some sounds in Spanish that don't exist in English at all, which causes me no end of trouble when I'm trying to buy bunuelos um, from my local bakery. But the point is, listen carefully to how you sound, um, be critical about it, um, think about how no, that one's really causing me a problem. Once you find those sounds that are difficult for you to say, for whatever reason, start looking for make up sentences that contain a concentration of those sounds so that when you read them you can start to improve and start to get a better sense of how you say that sound so I'm assuming a lot of you watching this are actually Spanish speakers or hispanohablantes so I'm going to give you a sentence in English and you tell me how easy this is for you to say Bob loves Veronica because Veronica is very beautiful but Veronica is a vegan and Bob loves burgers too. Now you may notice in that sentence there's an awful lot of the sound B and the sound V which in Spanish there's no real distinction but in English there is. So déjame saber en los comentarios how tricky or otherwise you find that sentence. But that's to give you an example of something you can find, ah, oh, that sound for me is difficult. Um, let me try and um, practice that and be conscious of where the difference, mainly is to be conscious of where in the mouth that we form that sound, the b and the v, is slightly different. That particular sentence I've used in the past with several of my students to help them identify the fact that there is a difference in English between b for Bob and v for Veronica. So that's the idea for today. When you're doing your reading, look, listen carefully to yourself. You know there are some sounds you have trouble with. Those words you keep tripping over and that's causing you problems, there's a sound in there somewhere that you have trouble with. Find what that is, find more words that have got it. Use sentences like the one we've just done which concentrates on those sounds. Be very conscious of where are you making that sound and that should help you improve. That's the tip for today. So for now, from Medellin, um, I wish you a very splendid afternoon. And since we are now about to play Panama, we shall say, come on, Colombia, vamos. <laughs> Cheerio for now. <laughs>